What's going on, everybody? Fujimo here from Fujimo Gaming. Uh, I just wanted to get on here and just make a very basic short video to show you how to add an add-on car into your 5M server. Um, I know there's several videos out there that show you how to do it. I don't know if the videos are outdated or whatever, but I was having trouble getting them in and getting them to spawn. Um, most of the time when you download a car from say like gta 5 mods or whatever it'll come with a add-on or a place and a lot of them just has add-ons that's that's kind of what i like to do i don't want to i don't usually like to replace the original cars in the game uh this one's uh bigaro or however you say it and basically you just drop that into a stream folder and it would work but if you go to add-on right here um you'll get a file this is this is what I have on my server now. That's why I have it named that. But and this is the original file that came with, with what I downloaded. Um, you open that folder up. You have a DLC.RPF file, and to get that on your 5M server, you're gonna need to open Open IV and transfer some files in there. Um, you'd want to go to the mods folder, update X64 and DLC packs. That's what you're looking for. All right, I've already slid this. Uh, folder into open IV but I'm gonna delete it to show you how to do it. You gotta get into edit mode, let's do that. Alright. This is the folder with the RPF. All you do is grab it and drag it in here. Open it up. There's your RPF file. Open it up. And here's all your data files and your vehicle files. Um, X64 vehicles RPF. This is your vehicle file right here. Your three vehicle files. Um, what I usually do is um, come over here and make a new folder. Call it this one is uh, Camaro SS. This is this folder is what's going to go into your 5M. So I always I kind of try to name my folder to whatever my car is because when you get ready to spawn it in the game. This is what you're going to type in. So Camaro SS is going to be the folder name. We got to make a Steam folder. I'm sorry, a stream folder inside the Camaro SS folder. So we go in new folder, stream. Then we just simply come over here and grab these three folders and drag them into the stream folder. They should be in there. There they are. All right. You want to back up just a couple notches here. Go to your data folder. All right, you're going to be looking for car coils, car variations, handling, and vehicles. Now, all you want to do is slide these into your Camaro folder. Um, sometimes when you get these vehicles, they won't have uh, car variations or car coils. Sometimes they just have three. Um, if you do have that, I'll show you in a minute how to edit your resource file to accommodate that. All right, once we got that in, you're pretty much done with that. Um, I got a template right here with a resource file. It's already got this stuff in it. So I just usually kind of keep it kind of handy. And I'll copy it into that, that vehicle file, whatever I'm using. All right. Clear some of this out. All right. The resource file inside of it is going to have these file names right here. If for some reason you download a car and it's only got three, you need to take it out. All this resource file needs to have is whatever you have out here. So car coils, car variations, handling, and vehicles. There it is, car variations, car coils, handling, and vehicles. This is all you got to have in it to make it work. This car will work like it is now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Camaro folder and put it onto our server. All right, once we got the... FTP server up. Basically, we just want to put that Camaro file or folder into our resources. Now, the one thing that I couldn't figure out is inside the resource folder, you need to have a, a car folder or named. It can be cars or add on cars or whatever, but you got to have it with these brackets on it. Once you open that folder up, this is where all your car files go. Now, what I did was just simply click on it and drag it over here. And it'll upload. I'm not going to upload because I already got it in there. You can see it's the same exact thing that we had over here. 
Here's all the aniline vehicles, car variations, car coils, and this is the car itself. So once you get it in there and get uh, loaded into your server, this is the car name you're going you're gonna to use when you spawn it in. You just go to whatever trainer you use and type in Camaro SS, and it'll spawn this car. Uh, the last thing you got to do, probably know, I'm going to show you anyway right quick. You have to add that Camaro SS into your server config file. Just go to your file manager on your uh, server, come down, server config right here, and click edit. Then once you get in there, you just scroll down to the bottom. Whatever your whatever your car name is, you just want to add it to it. Start whatever. So I'm not going to do it because I've already got it right here. But that's what this file would look like. Start Camaro SS. Save it. Restart your server. And then that spawn that car in, that car should work. And like I said, this was just a simple, a very basic video to show you how to add one single car. I usually add one car in before I try to combine them, um, just to make sure the car works. And then I'll just start, you know, combining all the files together to make one resource, which I really need to do because I have a lot right here, like around 10 or so. These need to be added together to, to make one resource. All right, I hope this helps some some of y'all out. Um, I know sometimes these things work on some people's servers and sometimes they don't. But as of right now, January 11th, 2018, this, this method is working, so it should work for you. Hope this helps you out. Y'all have a good day, and thanks for watching. Oh,